Zayn was really beautiful this season. This season, he was explored a little more than usual, and I liked this, and I loved his character growth. For, for the first time since he's been a titanium ninjaroid, we've actually got to see him be himself and separated from who he really is, not who he's defined by with the other ninja or with Pixel. In previous seasons, once he was, once he was reborn as the titanium ninja, he was always destined to follow Pixel. He was always guided by Pixel and all the other ninja. Hands of Time did explore this, but didn't do a really good job. He was more defined by his traits by Pixel, and he was always worried that he would be messing up. In further seasons, like in Sons of Gunron, this wasn't really much of a problem, as he was with the others, and he was usually the smart one, especially in the first realm, especially because they wouldn't know what to really do. It's a new territory, they can't really just jump at conclusions. Now, in other seasons, it, it wasn't that bad, but in this season, it really goes back to the point, because in several seasons, he's with a full team. In this season, though, when he's with Mr. Froiki, he's guiding Mr. Froiki to be the best. If he cannot be the best, just try with all your might to be the best person you are to be the best assistant. This is how they get to the final drawing line, the stuff that emerges with Zane giving so much confidence to Mr. Froki in previous episodes. This is able to get him into the car and drive with the energy core. And just the way Zane guides then Lloyd and Aaron to find him in the administration makes Zane even much cooler. Zane was really betrayed and has really grown this season, and I can't wait to see more character growth in him. More Zane stuff like this, sort of being a mentor and guide for the char our characters is a really smart decision and I, I can't wait to find out more like subscribe and check out my other videos you guys have been absolutely amazing peace out